One of the original types of high voltage generators is gobble fish generator developed in 1964. Structurally it consists of two main units, coil transmission line, strip line, with additional layer of insulation between the turns, and RC chain with double discharger. Outer conducting spiral is active and the inner, under insulation, is passive. The outer end of the active conductor is connected to a switch, a rectangle with two semicircles in upper right corner. The remaining ends of both wires are open, in other words, hanging in the air. High voltage output is in the middle of the spiral. Generator supply voltage is fed to the input. Before discharger stops feeding voltage to strip lines, the capacitor formed by them becomes charged. By turning the chopper, the capacitor begins to discharge through the discharger, resulting in charges moving down the active line, where it reflects from open circuit in the inner end and moves back to the discharger, changing polarity of the active line relative to its initial charge. Now all points reverse move in the same direction, resulting in a very short period of time a two-fold voltage increase between the active and passive lines. Voltage of each pair of active and passive lines in ideal situation, assume ideal materials and design and therefore no losses, equals to double voltage of generator power supply. When n pairs of active slash passive lines, the ideal total output voltage is shown by equation 2 and V. Such generator independently of Goldfish was developed by Soviet scientists Belkin and Zharkova in 1961 and it was used to power impulse gas lasers.